Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to calculate adjusted taxable income for 163J. To calculate adjusted taxable income, ATI, for the purposes of Section 163J of the Internal Revenue Code, you need to follow a specific set of steps and considerations. First, start with the taxpayer's taxable income. This is the base from which you will make several adjustments. Exclude non-business items. ATI is computed without regard to any item of income, gain, loss, or deduction that is not properly allocable to a trade or business. This means you exclude any items that are not related to the taxpayer's business activities. Exclude business interest and income. You must also exclude any business interest or business interest income from the calculation. This is crucial because these items are specifically addressed under Section 163J and are not included in the ATI computation. Exclude net operating loss deductions. The amount of any net operating loss deduction under Section 172 is also excluded from the ATI calculation. This ensures that net operating losses do not affect the business interest deduction limitation. Exclude Section 199A deductions. Any deduction allowed under Section 199A, which pertains to qualified business income, is also excluded from the ATI computation. Adjust for depreciation, amortization, and depletion pre-2022. For tax years beginning before January 1, 2022, you would add back any deductions allowable for depreciation, amortization, or depletion. However, this rule no longer applies for tax years starting after 2021. Current calculation post-2021. For tax years beginning after 2021, the calculation of ATI no longer includes the add back of depreciation, amortization, or depletion. This change can significantly impact the interest expense deduction limit particularly for highly leveraged businesses. Final adjustments. The Secretary of the Treasury may provide additional adjustments to be made in computing ATI, but these must be in accordance with the regulations under Section 163J. Impact on business interest deduction. The ATI calculation is critical because it determines the limit on the deductible business interest expense, which is capped at 30% of the taxpayer's ATI plus any business interest income and floor plan financing interest expense. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.